simple enough. I got class in one. So I got to holler at my, my other mother. She always gave me right before I go to class. Oh, you better have your best face on. Oh my yeah. goodness. Yeah. I do not want to be on. It's too hero. late. It's too late. This is my, my mama right here. This, this is the reason why I'm going to be graduating. And it just opens doors for you um, if they have that degree in hand. And that's something that we preach from the time they get here until they leave. Yeah, man. And I know they all want to pursue their opportunity with the NFL, but at the same time, this is an opportunity too. All right, man. Um, we are out of here. Bye. This area right here with the national championship trophies and all the recaps and playbacks. I kind of stop over here every once in a while and just look at all the things that we know we accomplished. I feel like for me personally, I can't have one without the other, you know? Like, it was my athletic ability that allowed me to leave, you know, uh, A-Leaf, Texas and come here and get an education. So, you know, it all goes, all correlates, it all goes hand in hand. The class we're about to go to right now is a social work class. Uh, and uh, the professor is Dr. Michael Lauderdale, which I actually had when I was in school in the years of 04 to 07. College for me now is about, you know, soaking up knowledge and then applying that knowledge into the real world because I've actually been in the real world. But the great thing about Tony is when we signed him out of Elsick High School, he had some medical issues he had to deal with. Nobody was sure if he was ever really going to play football again. Enrolled in January of 2004 rather than with the regular class in, in the fall of 2003. Overcame the injury, played at a really high level. Opportunity after 07 to go to the NFL and has been there ever since. And to have him be able to carve out some time to come back this semester and finish the last two classes is fantastic. I was able to go back into to my roots as far as like being here from 04 to 07 and I, staying down south the majority of those years and now living up north and then when you go there and you see you know I guess the poverty in that area it, it was eye-opening for me because it's like I didn't even know like this kind of existed. Living down south it's a different culture from you know what you, you see on especially on campus it's totally different. That showed the community like a sense of community that uh if, if you're trying and you want to help better yourself, that the church and the people around with will actually help you. It's part of a, a change in the culture that we've developed over the years where we certainly prefer everybody to have their degree in their pocket when they leave, uh, whenever that is. But for those who weren't able to for a variety of circumstances, we're always open to bring them back. We feel that it's, that it's part of our responsibility, our moral obligation, to continue to take care of the students who came here to be student athletes uh, long after their eligibility is over. And he's just one of a long line of guys that's doing it, and, and we're, we couldn't be more proud of him. I've done more in, in my, you know, 29, 30 years of life, getting ready to be 30 years of life, than a lot of people have done in their lifetime. I definitely feel like coming to this school helped mold me into the man that I wanted to be. And it also gave me a platform to, to reach my dreams and my goals and my aspirations. And, uh, you know, I look forward to the next 30 years of life and, and still being a part of this family and seeing what Coach Strong is going to do with the program and, you know, seeing my sons come and graduate from this great university. Mm -hmm.